In May 2020, as the COVID-19 crisis began to bite, Mental Health UK, with support from Johnson & Johnson, pioneered the Community Mental Health Navigator programme in Grimsby. The navigators act as a single point of contact for those in need, helping them to navigate what can be a complex patchwork of support. They're well placed to help mentally vulnerable people get support with housing, staying connected and having control over their finances. And they can make a tangible difference to a person's quality of life. Grimsby, once fated as the home port of the world's largest fishing fleet, is now emerging from post-industrial decline to lead the UK's fish processing industry and to innovate in tackling mental health issues in the community. Grimsby and North East Lincolnshire have higher than average levels of deprivation, with issues around housing, money, drugs and alcohol adding to mental health challenges. But there's a new approach here addressing these social determinants of health. Theresa Harrison is the UK's first community mental health navigator, linking people to the services they need while reducing pressure on the NHS. I help the local primary care network and I also um, help the service users in that primary care network to liaise with mental health services. Um, the whole point of the project, which was funded by Johnson & Johnson, was to reduce the impact on emergency services, also people going into crisis, and also trying to find out what's causing um, their mental health um, problems that they're going to the GP with. This GP says 40% of the patients he sees have a mental health issue, but he has limited time to see them and isn't connected to the third sector or charity services that might help. He says the navigator role has led to earlier interventions and averted many crises. It's been fantastic. We've all been blown away about the impact it has had. This care navigation role allows someone to properly sit down with them, often in a different environment, either in their own home, out in a coffee shop, providing a different type of uh, relationship, which allows you to properly get down to what are the other problems that's going on in someone's life. This different way of approaching these problems is, is I think, going to be the future. Teresa works with a range of healthcare professionals who serve some of the harder to reach members of their community, rough sleepers, sex workers, people with drug and alcohol problems. They help them with housing and benefits, as well as medical concerns. People can turn up in crisis to open door. You don't have to be registered as a patient here. We do quite a lot of drop-ins as well. So having Teresa based here for twice, uh, twice a week is really, really useful. She's very successful. Really, really helped our patients out a lot because they know that they've got that one person that they can talk to um, and then Teresa can link in with all the other individuals that are based at Open Door. So it's basically like a one-stop shop, really. With the success of the Navigator role in Grimsby, it's now being rolled out to other regions. If you're experiencing a serious mental health problem, you probably don't have the confidence, you certainly don't have the capability, and you might not even have the capacity, the knowledge, to be able to get all the different kinds of support that you need. And the role of the navigator is acting in that kind of link point between the patient and the health professional, finding those different forms of support for the person who, who maybe just doesn't have the wherewithal to do it in that moment of crisis. Teresa says her own experience of mental health issues enables her to guide others. I absolutely love it. It's holistic. It's about the person. It's about gaining their trust and they know they're not on their own. And what I get out of it is seeing that person come out the other side and know that they're going to be all right.